Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have the PlayStation going bankrupt, which has kind of been going on a really, really crazy viral post over here. We're going to go talk about that, although sometimes you got to go and also admit that there might be a little bit of maybe a clickbait on their end, which I'm kind of just responding to on the video title, because we're now seeing some kind of clamoring where it seems like PlayStation might be on its last legs. Now, I think anyone with a brain could probably assume that's most likely not going to happen, but it's been making its way around the social media sphere, and apparently Japan has been going crazy. So we're going to go talk about that. We have some really big news when it comes to the actual PlayStation Slims going on sale. We also apparently even have brand new games coming out. We have some big drama. We even have some inner company shade going on too as well when it comes to a lot of big companies in the gaming sphere. So we're going to talk about all this type of stuff throughout this video. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. We have a bajillion different nice awesome links for like the Black Friday, Cyber Money stuff all going on. Down below we have SSDs, we have purifiers, we have Best Buy setups. You get a bunch of cool benefits and deals with that. You just have a lot of really cool things all linked down down below if you guys want to check those on out daily hashtag ad and all of that with affiliate partnership we have the twitter and twitch room down below if you guys want to follow and of course all the other various links as well all linked down below so first and foremost today we've had a kind of a really weird and strange story going on which i want everyone to go take with a grain of salt where it's basically coming over here saying that playstation's about to go bankrupt that there's a huge internal like disaster going on with playstation and everything else now i'm going to talk about this to the sake of like this is going viral and a lot of folks are seeing this and talking about this i've now even seen a few articles bring this up too as well where i think it's most likely just some random person spewing random stuff but sometimes that's the more entertaining video because i don't always want to talk about how consoles are winning and losing sometimes i want to go and see some massive degenerate break Breaking news that's probably just made up by some random guy using chat GBT in this random mom's basement because sometimes that's what kind of happens here on the internet sphere. So this post over here from a jaw crispy or I am cloud man who has basically been trying to go put up this huge breaking news has been going viral saying PlayStation is at risk of losing everything. A Japanese financial trader has inside information about what's really happening at Sony and the disaster Jim Ryan is leaving behind. Now, first and foremost, this is a pretty big headline to be randomly going and find up on Twitter. It's also been apparently coming up from like a Japanese source as well. So, so technically, this is like a lot of, imagine this video with a lot of like air quotation marks over here. Technically, Japan might be very, very afraid of the long-term future of Sony, or apparently Jim Ryan may have actually destroyed the company. Now, is this going to be true? I don't really probably think so. I think the PlayStation is doing very, very well in terms of sales. It's doing better than Xbox in terms of software sales. Spider-Man was a huge financial success. And everything else kind of seems like it's falling into place when it comes to acquisitions, when it comes to, well, everything. When it comes to things like Crunchyroll and Fundimation, when it comes to PlayStation Plus expansion, when it comes to the PlayStation Portal, I don't think PlayStation is going to end up going bankrupt of all random things. But at the same time, there was a huge $5 billion lawsuit, which I don't want to go and kind of scuff at, and maybe sometimes that can lead to some big issues. Or the same part too, where maybe the PlayStation Slim already has been on sale. And also as well, some folks are kind of curious because there was a $350 Target PlayStation 5, where a lot of folks are kind of curious if that's actually be leading towards issues from them having over amounts of stock. Now, I'm not going to take too much of a grain of salt with this type of stuff, because sometimes this is just sensationalized, but like I said, it's entertaining to go and talk about. So now having a bunch of Japanese comments over here saying, securities reseller, an old man investor, basically people just over here talk about this type of stuff, stating, there is talk that Sony uh, Interactive, I believe, Entertainment or Online, game business is about to go bankrupt. <laughs> so once again, I don't know if this is about to happen. The president of the game business, S, Sony Interactive Entertainment, has been replaced. So that's Jim Ryan stepping down and having, I believe it was Roki Totoki kind of stepping on in for the, like, interim CEO for about a year or so. Basically saying, hey, Jim Ryan wants to be donezo, whether it's retirement or being fired. No one really knows. If we want to add, like, a little bit of conspiracy, they knew it to make it a little bit more entertaining. I think Sony's fine. Like, just the head and all be out. But this is why it makes it fun to talk about the discussion of it. But, yeah, it kind of seemed like it was a bit abrupt. Although, he is still going to be in the company for quite some time. For the next few months as well. And I feel like if there was a really big issue or a really big firing or, like, something dramatic, it'd probably be more of an instantaneous thing. If you guys saw on the uh, Microsoft news, like, there was a big open AI Microsoft vibe. And they basically had to replace CEOs. They had an inter intermittent CEO for about a day. And people are getting replaced. And then it'll happen about a week. So, and that's like big news, big drama, and everyone's noticing it. This would not be ongoing for like a year or so. But a lot of folks are, like, in my opinion, I think Jim Ryan did a relatively good job when it came to leading PlayStation, when it came to working on PlayStation itself. I think that was a 
good stuff. But the part two of that is I don't think it lost enough money to make the company go bankrupt. Now, that $5 billion lawsuit, which I think actually might have been even higher, is up to the $8 billion marker. So that is the entirety of a Bethesda well, company. And Sony also never really had that much money on hand. They did have a few billion dollars for acquisitions, same with Sony too as well. And they almost want to have a weird pivot to put some of that Sony money, so big daddy Sony money, into PlayStation acquisitions. Kind of probably think that I'm not really sure exactly where uh, Microsoft got the funding, but I do believe Microsoft probably put more of the build than Xbox did to make that an Xbox subsidiary because at the end of the day Microsoft is the big daddy company if they somehow buy Activision it kind of intermingles well it makes sense if they have the funding or even intercompany loans so basically saying uh the overall inventory is two trillion dollars yen but the game business alone accounts for 960 billion yen so PlayStation is a bigger part if you simply divide by the unit price of PlayStation you have around 13 million units in stock uh, is this bad stock? However, it seems that the PlayStation is already being sold at a significant reduced price in the United States, which did in theory happen. We did have the $350 Target sale. The Slim is technically already on the sale too as well, if you factor on in them also including brand new video games, such as Spider-Man, which would eat into like $60, $70 of PlayStation profit if you bought it individually, or same thing with Modern Warfare 2 as well, which is not probably pure $60, $70, but still a big price. At the same time, though, I just think that's fine, just a normal sale, and at the same time, there is market leaders and loss leaders to introduce like consoles at a cheaper price point where basically you want to go get a million people in your consoles and you basically make maybe five million dollars but over time you'll have people who grow accustomed to the playstation brand you have people buying software playstation plus etc and if you can go and do that first let's say fifty thousand xboxes which is pretty much like it seems like the ratio of what's going on in europe then well yeah they might have people on game pass and maybe console profit but i'd rather have a million install units than say fifty thousand uh but yeah i don't think playstation is going to go bankrupt so anyway for this one too they're saying the market might actually decrease on the value though but in my mind i saw the 350 consoles instantaneously sell out so there already is a pretty good supply or more so demand for that supply there. And I don't really think we're going to be seeing the PlayStation 5 at like $200 for a while. And on the same reverse side too, we've even seen the Xbox Series X at around the $350 price point. If you factored in those Target gift card deals we saw. And same with the Xbox Series S, we've seen as low as $150. So like, I don't think it's the end of the world if a company is going and having their stock or their price go and decrease. I think it's more bad if no one's buying the games that they're putting out or everything else in between. And that's kind of what I'm more concerned about. Like, I think Sony is going to be fine at the end of the day. I was just saying, if this year-end sales doesn't work out, won't they finally shut down the game business? There's also talk of this. The change of Sony Interactive's presence is expression of the company's sense of crisis. Now, once again, just because you're changing CEOs doesn't mean a bad thing. Even Twitch itself changed CEOs not too long ago from Emmett Shear to some random guy who's a hippie with long hair. And at the same exact time with this one, uh, guess what? Like, if they have stock that's being sold, it's going to be fine at the end of the day. And if they also even just mentioned, too, as well, that PlayStation is going to be a... Like a large majority of Sony's profits, they're not going to go and shut it down and make it go bankrupt at the end of the day. Sort of the story on the game Otaku Board, there seems to be a strong possibility that there was a lack of communication between Sony and also Sony, like Sony Interactive Entertainment and Sony itself, and the head office approved their baseless, bullish strategy. But in reality, the company ended up with a mountain of inventory, and the company hurriedly replaced the president and placed the company under the direct control of the head office. Now, this is just someone's kind of thoughts and comments on all this, stating like, hey, Jim Ryan could have done a lot better. But at the same exact time, I think it's kind of BS. Uh, I think it's more of a semiconductor issue, and people are still buying the games and softwares. I think PlayStation is totally fine. So we'll kind of see if anything bigger leaks come out with this one, although I kind of doubt it. Now, we also had a little bit of drama, too, as well, where Bloober Team, the people who are making making Silent Hill 2 Remake, actually we're calling out Konami, basically saying, like, hey, like, if you want to go hear more updates, see tweets, see pictures, see teasers, see videos, or whatever, Konami is the people in charge, because people are asking, like, hey, what's up with this game, what's going on with this vibe, and apparently just everyone is not too happy with it, because they're apparently just slacking on, like, their big, big head software vibes, and, well, that's kind of sad to go and see, because they're, they're being kind of sassy on this one, basically calling them out, saying, hey, when can we get some more news on the update, or is that in Konami too, and they're basically saying, hey, man, like, like we look, we're even responding to your comment same day. We could tell you more if we possibly could. And also, apparently, too, as well, there is also a brand new Assassin's Creed already in the works, which is kind of surprising for me to go and see. Mainly just because for this one, like, yeah, we already had the most recent Assassin's Creed, but it always seems like there's at least like 15 more of them on the way. So there's not gonna be the Ubisoft Bordeaux working on the next upcoming Assassin's Creed. So if you guys are curious, I think we have a brand new one. I think it's a remake and also a mobile version, all coming out for Assassin's Creed. So give me your thoughts and comments and all this type of stuff down below a little bit more of a fun video we also have all the nice little affiliate links down below with the 
the Best Buy Total Tech, all the Howlings, SSDs, Dyson fans, everything. So check those on out, hashtag ad, if you guys are interested. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below in case you guys do want to follow, and I appreciate you all so much for watching here in the first place.